Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh by Shemel Shai Barakatam. To the hopeful elect out there, man. And amen again to the hopeful elect. You know, um, we are definitely going to need the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shai to be with us in these upcoming and you know, very bad times that we're coming into, you know, being that we're pretty much in, in the beginning stages of Jacob's trouble, which it also talks about in uh, Daniel, the 12th chapter, starting at verse 1, it goes into how this is time period is going to be a time that has never been since the earth was created. All right. You know, and um, we're literally coming into the worst time in history, the worst time known to man. You know, and I've been meditating, meditating on that a lot. And um, you know, I brought this out in a recent video going into Isaiah. Um, um, what was that? Uh, Isaiah. Just bear with me, real quick. In um, Isaiah forty. Um, Bear with me real quick. Um, I think that's Isaiah chapter 42. I often get it confused with Isaiah 47 and 42. Matter of fact, I'll just get it real quick. <clears throat> because ultimately everything that we see, you know, ultimately it's all being orchestrated by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Yahweh being the true name of who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. And all things are done in the name of his only begotten son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus. His his name is uh <coughs> his true name is Yahawashai in the Paleo Hebrew. <coughs> all right. And you know, we, we say Bahashem, because again, all things are done by the Heavenly Father in the name Bahashem Yahushai. Right, the only begotten son, man. You know. <coughs> Um, but, um, just to, you know, verify Isaiah chapter 42, verse 13, it says, the Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. All right. And, um, like I was saying, you know, just this, uh, precept here has been on the back of my mind for, a little while now you know because the Lord he's causing things to happen on the earth you know um, there's a lot of things going on man you know um, trying to I really be trying to get into you know some some of these current events and whatnot but it's, it's just one thing after another man it's just as brothers always say, man, we, we always say it's, it really is hard to keep up with everything that's going on, you know. But nonetheless, the Lord is stirring up that, that he, he's stirring up. He, he's causing things to happen out here, man. You know, the spirit of Yahweh Shemel Shah is working throughout the earth. You know, you know, each day that goes by, like I said, man, more and more we're coming into those times, those evil days, those bad times, perilous times. You know, and uh, pretty much what inspired me to do this video, man, was the fact that, um, uh, again, you know, very soon, man, we're going to see violence out here. You know, it's, it's, it's going to get very bad out here. And that's why I said, you know, the to the hopefully elect, we're going to need the spirit of Yahweh Basham Shai to direct us, to be with us, to guide us. In those times, man, as a matter of fact, let me get this, Second Ezra, chapter 16, because again, the Lord is getting ready to unleash a level of wrath on this earth that has never seen before, that has never been witnessed, but to the hopefully elect, you know, we have nothing to worry about because... 
pretty much we're, we are enduring our chastening now so that we don't get chastened. We don't get judged with these people. We don't get judged with the rest of this world, man. Because this time, also know, or well, I mentioned it earlier, Jacob's trouble. Because, you know, the Lord is going to be pouring out his wrath upon all the earth. And all these nations are going to catch, catch hell. But, as I always say, the focus is your Israelites, your so-called Negroes, Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. You are the focus. All right. So in more particular, this this times, you know, the Lord's more so going to be focused on unleashing wrath upon you Israelites. Hence, Jacob's trouble. You know, Jake is in trouble, man. You know, and again, when it comes to Jacob's trouble, like I was saying, there's punishment for the two thirds. Like I said, for, for the hopefully legs, we've got nothing to worry about. Lord's will were of that number. But nevertheless, we're still going to need the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai to be with us. Um, I'm going to read this in 2nd Edges chapter 16. I'm going to start at verse 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved. And, you know, um, oftentimes in the scriptures, when it refers to the beloved, and oftentimes it's um it's it's talking about the elect because the way that the Lord set this program up, um, you know, only the elect would get it. You know, only the elect would wake up, repent, and come back and return to their power. And that's just the spirit that the Lord set up, or excuse me, that's just the spirit that the Lord put on the elect. All right, because it's so bad. It's so bad out here, man, as far as the wickedness. The only thing to do is to just re reset everything, to just start over everything, just like the Lord did during the time of the flood. The, the earth was so wicked, the Lord just, he, he just had to hit a you know, global reset and save eight souls, man. Which during that time represented the elect. All right, and how much more now? You know, as far as the wickedness is so bad that hey, the Lord. And this is why this, the scriptures talk about how the Lord He had to leave behind a remnant. All right, because if He didn't, then we'd be as Sodom and Gomorrah, and we'd be completely through. So you see, man, you know. The Lord, He's reserving the elect because from there, you know, that's where, again, because uh, uh, the, the Lord's going to hit the, the reset button once again. All right. And again, it's going to start with the elect. You know, and from there, righteousness is going to be established. But before we get to that point, all hell is going to break loose out here. Like I said, man, um, more and more we're coming into that time. So, again, to the hopefully elect, whoever you are, wherever you're scattered abroad, you know, Lord's will, this is uplifting to you. So I'm going to read it again, 2nd Edges 16, 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for your power is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, power, let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. So you see, again, we're going to need the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah to be with us. It's going to be the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah. that's what's going to be our guide. All right, in these troubling times that we're coming into, these evil times, these very bad times. You see, you know, hey, the Lord is telling us, don't worry about it, pretty much. Like I said, man, he said, Here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. So, hey, you know, 
The Lord said, be ye not afraid, neither doubt. So you see, again, to the hopefully left, and we've got nothing to worry about. The Lord is going to watch over us. He's going to protect us. The Spirit is going to be with us. All right. The Spirit is going to be with us. It's going to be a guide unto us. You know, because again, man, very dark days are coming. And all hell's getting ready to break loose. You know, they're talking about this. Um, I think they were, I think they're calling it a night of rage. Let me look this up real quick. Let me look this up real quick. This night of rage, I think they're calling it. Yes. Because supposedly they've um, found these flyers. Well, these flyers, you know, spotted in um, certain places, certain states like D.C. and different places. Talking about a, a night of rage. Going into this whole Roe versus Wade. All right. And, you know, supposedly you've got these. Um, these groups. Attacking. Um, medical clinics and things of that nature you know um, again this whole rule versus Wade you know whenever they're supposed to have this hearing or whatever you know they're talking about if they in fact do overturn this decision or whatever that there's going to be a night of chaos is going to be from what they're saying it's going to be like a purge like scenario you know you know, this is this is what they're saying. You know, uh, which comes to you know, I mean, when you when you look at it, so to say, from a bird's eye perspective, um, you see, because again, they, you know, they were telling the states to 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 prepare for a night of violence and you know, things like that. And you, supposedly, the FBI's you know, working with local law enforcement agencies and stuff like that. But to show you how this is pretty much all set up. Because, again, you know, um, supposedly they're, they're, you know, looking for these people, these extremists or whatever they want to call them. They're just terrorists, whatever they want to call them. Because I think that's what they're labeling this group. I don't know if it's one group or multiple groups, but, you know, people putting up these flyers and... You know, making these posts on on social media and whatnot <laughs> about coming together and basically ensuing violence, right? But here it is. This is the FBI we're talking about. You know, where they apparently they can track anyone from any position. You know, if you so much get a, a, a you know, a, if you so much pass a a. a um, uh, a red light. You know they pretty much they hunt you down, man. You you get that letter in the mail, right? You get that ticket in the mail, right? So they know where everyone's at. They got the facial recognition and all that. You know, ESOS technology. Listen, they know where everyone's at and stuff like that. So here it is. Supposedly they can't find these. They can't find these guys in these particular groups that are making these threats. And, you know, attacking these abortion clinics and stuff like that. <laughs> it's like I said, she, you know, looking at it from, so to say, a bird's eye perspective. Because they want the violence to ensue. All right. Because that's one of their mottos. Or to add a chaos. They want the chaos to ensue so they can. That justifies them bringing in the order, man. You know, I mean, it's, it's point blank simple. All right. <laughs> But well, more and more, we're coming into that time where all hell is going to break loose out here. It's going, to, you know, it's, it's it's going to get violence. Here it is. I mean, like I said, man, there's there's a lot going on, man. You know, um, from the food shortages to the to the um, you know, water shortages. You know, there, there there's been rolling blackouts in certain parts in different states. And they're talking about more rolling blackouts to preserve energy coming for the for the for the winter months. You know, um, all this. With all this being said, man, it's, it's setting a stage again 
for, for all hell to break loose out here, man. And violence to ensue throughout the 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 different provinces in America of Babylon and Great. You know, so again to the hopefully elect man, you know, we gotta be careful, man. You know, um matter of fact I'm gonna get this. Get this in on Matthew chapter 10. Matter of fact, before I get this, I want to get this real quick in First Peter chapter 4. Because again, you know, stuff like that, man, you know, um, as you know, the apostles have um, talked about how. Like when it comes to the, the protest and the rioting and stuff like that, you know, for whatever reason that gets Jake riled up, it, it, it pretty much gets Jake turned on, so to say. You know, well, hey, we're not supposed to, we are to not be protesting and, and rioting and, you know, participating in these different acti activities or whatnot. All right. Because again, during this time, this is where, hey, how about Shimon Shai? He's going to be, his judgment is going to be dished out. You know, and you don't want to get caught out there. All right. I'm going to get this real quick in First Peter chapter 4. Verse 15 says, But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters. So you see, you know, you don't, you don't want to get caught out there when, when, when Yahweh Bashim Shai is you know dishing out judgment because again this is going to be and this is another thing the spirit has been on the apostles about how hey man prepare to get prepared to see a lot of bodies man you know dead bodies don't be surprised you're you know um driving down the street man and you know you you you, you know you you see some dead some dead bodies or whatever the case may be you know again these are the times that we're coming into you know it's just best to a hey, you know because hey through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai, we understand judgment. All right, we understand judgment. So whenever you know we we see something going on, hey, the scripture say meddle not in another man's matters. Hey, just it's best to just mind your business, because again, ultimately Yahweh Shemel Shai, he's in control of all things. All right, and you know we 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 see some, hey, just 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 mind your business, man, because hey, you know, trying to play Captain Save a Hole or whatever the case may be, man, you're gonna end up getting judged. You're going to get, and the Lord's going to end up get, uh, jacking you up as well. You see, you don't want to suffer as an evildoer, man. You don't want to be partaking in these protests, these looting, and you, you know, stuff like that, man. You know, As a matter of fact, I'm going to read verse 16. It says, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian or, or, or in Hamashiachin, all right, it says, Let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify the Most High on this behalf. All right. Because you see, you know, it is prophesied that some of the elect are going to get caught up as far as getting hauled off to quote unquote isolation centers. And, you know, some of the elect are already going to get martyred. But you see, that's just for a, a testament. All right. Like I said, if we, you know, if we get caught up in those type of things, you know, because it is even scriptures even go to how. Some of us are going to get um, brought before the counselors, judges, and things of that nature, you know. And the, the Lord told us, man, don't don't think about what you're going to say. I'm going to put the words in your mouth. You know, the Lord's going to speak to us to to you know condemn whoever, you know, prophesy or whatever the case may be. So you see, if we're going to suffer, you know, let's suffer for, all, you know. For, for that sake, don't suffer, don't don't get end up getting jacked up because you want to be out here protesting, rioting, and, you know, participating in these, you know, activities, these wicked activities that's going to be going on, all right? <clears throat> you know, if you're going to suffer, man, suffer for your Yahweh Shema Osha, man, all right? But going back to Matthew chapter 10, Matthew chapter 10. Verse 16, because again, man, to the hopefully elect, um, again, man, you know, more and more, we're coming into that time, man, it's, it's going to get violent, it's going to get scary, and we got to be careful how we move out here, you know, we, we need to 
operate in the spirit. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Because, yeah, man, the Lord is going to put a real uh, uh, a brute-like spirit on these people, man. The Lord's going to turn these people into a beastly yeah, the Lord's going to turn these people into, into, into animals, man. All right. These people, they're about to lose all sense of morality, all sense of, you know, logic. You know, these people, they're, they're getting ready to lose all sense of rationing. All right. Just all sense of human nature. You know, these people, they're just getting ready to lose it all, all together. And again, you know, hey. You know, let Yahweh Shai be your shepherd, because sheep they need a shepherd, and that's why I read Second Ezra sixteen. Man, we need a we we we're gonna need a guide, man. And this is why the again the the spirit is gonna have to guide us, man. The spirit is gonna have to be with us. You know, because sheep being in the midst of wolves, man. Hey, you know, it's it's. <laughs> You know, you're bound to get devoured, man. If you don't have that hedge of protection, you're bound to get devoured. So we got to be real careful on how we operate. From the very conversations that we have with certain individuals, or certain individuals, we just got to be careful all around, man. Because it's going to get it's going to get dangerous. You know, reading on, it says, "Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves." So you see, we we got to be real careful. All right, serpents—they're very wise creatures. All right, you know, and again, that's how we got to be, man. We got to be real careful how we conduct ourselves, how we operate. You know, you don't want to make yourself a walking target. All right, keep it simple, man. You know, keep it simple. You know, because, hey, violence is getting ready to ensue this whole land, man. You know, it reminds me of this, this, um, this here, you know, First Samuel chapter fourteen, which ultimately, you know, it was the Lord that did this. You know, First Samuel chapter fourteen. First Samuel fourteen, going into Jonathan and his armor bearer. Right. I just want to get to the point. Um, I'm going to start at verse. I'm just going to give verse 13. First Samuel 14 and 13. And Jonathan, Jonathan climbed up upon his hands and his upon his feet and his armor bearer after him. And they off and they fell before Jonathan and his armor bearer slew after him. And that first slaughter which Jonathan had, excuse me, and that first slaughter which Jonathan and his armor bearer made was about 20 men within, as it were, an half acre of land which a yoke of oxen might plow. And there was trembling in the host, in the field, and among all the people, the garrison and the spoilers, they also trembled, and the earth quaked, so it was a great, a very great trembling. Just like I said, man, I mean, you can go read through the story, you know, it's kind of a, a, a faith faith booster you know um you know but ultimately how about shimao shai did this you know and he caused it to where when you read on it says in the watchman of saul and gibeah of benjamin looked and behold the multitude melted away and they went on beating down one another then saul um just get to the point and jump down Verse 19, it says, And it came to pass while Saul talked upon the priest that the noise that was in the host of the Philistines went on and increased. And Saul said unto the priest, Withdraw thine hand. And Saul and all the people that were with him assembled themselves, and they came to the battle. And behold, every man swore was against his fellow, and there was a great, a very great discomfiture. All right. You see, and like I said, to get more context, you know, you just, just read the whole chapter, you know. Um, because, you know, Jonathan, you know, pretty much he had faith in Yahweh Bashim al Shai that, you know, the Lord would come through for him. And he did, because, again, ultimately the Lord did this, you know, while everyone else was afraid and scared, 
Jonathan, he had faith in the Heavenly Father, and the Lord came through for him. All right? And when they were trying to figure out what was going on, what was all that noise, hey, Saul, you know, and they, they came out, and they, verse 20 again, it says, And Saul and all the people that were with him assembled themselves, and they came to the battle. <laughs> so you see, when they, you know, they came to the battle, they're trying to figure out what was going on. This is what they seen. It says, And they came to the battle, and behold, every man's sword was against his fellow, and there was a great discomfiture. So you see, it was just all hell just breaking loose. Just people, you know, everyone, you know, they were killing each other. Right? Because when you, when you jump back up, when you, jumping back up real quick, verse 15 again, it says, And there was a trembling in the host, in the field, and among all the people, the garrison and the spoilers. They also trembled in the earthquake. So it was a great, a very great trembling. So again, Yahweh Bashim Shai, he did this. He caused this to happen to where it was just confusion. Right? Everyone was scared. So when you jump back down to verse 20, they, you know, everyone, you know, when Saul and them came to the battle, they, this is what they seen. They seen everyone was, you know, it was, like I said, it was just a bunch of confusion. They were killing each other, killing themselves, you know. But basically, man, just all hell, just breaking loose. It was just violence. All right. Like I said, or like the apostle has been saying, hey, you just get ready to, to just see dead bodies, man. It's just, it's, 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 it's going to get bad out here. It's going to get scary out here, man. It's just going to be all hell breaking loose on all sides, man. So this is why we got to be careful. You know, why is it serpent, serpents harmless as doves? You know, because, hey, the Lord, hey, he, he's turning up out here. Like I keep saying, he's, he's causing things to happen on the earth. You know, Let me get this in Second Ezra chapter 7. Second Ezra chapter 7. Second Ezra chapter seven. Let me just see where I can start. I'll start at verse three. And I said, Speak on my power, then said he unto me, The sea is set in the white place, that it might be deep and great. But put the case the entrance were narrow and like a river. <laughs> Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it, if he went not through the narrow? And how could he come into the broad? There is another thing. A city is built and is set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Talking about the kingdom, right? The entrance thereof is narrow and it is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. So, again, man, you know, the kingdom, all right, which ultimately that's what we should want. You know, but again, before we get to that point, all hell has to break loose out here, man. All right, again, I'm going to read verse 7 again. The entrance thereof is narrow. And you see, like it says in Matthew 7, man, you know, the, hey, that straight gate. We're coming into that time of the straight gate. You know, extreme difficulty. You know, um, it says, and it's set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep water. And the only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, is so small that there could but one man go there at once. If this city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? So you see, man, before we get to kingdom, hey, we got to go through the straight gate. We got to go through this, you know, this, this, this time known as Jacob's trouble, the, 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 the worst time in history, you know. Matter of fact, I'm going to read on down. I'll jump down to verse 12. Then were the entrances of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail, that they they are but few, excuse me, they are but few and evil, full of perils and very painful. For the entrances of the elder world were wide and sure and brought immortal fruit. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. So you see, again, pretty much like I was saying, man, the point being, hey, we got to go through this, this straight gate, man. We got to go through this, 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 we got to go through this travail, man. We got, we got to go through it. We, we, we got to go through it. Jacob's trouble, you know, you know, it's about to get real, man.
you know the city is, is set in a dangerous place you know and again we're coming into those perilous times so be wise man be careful be circumspect you know at any moment this thing can pop off and this is, this should be our attitude and every day you know no matter where we're at no matter what we're doing you know we have to have this mindset that hey at any moment it can pop off man any moment it can pop off you know so hopefully man this was edifying and uplifting giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Shai, double honors to the apostles and others of great millstone Yahweh Bashim Shai, Barak a thumb to you hopefully elect Lord's will until next time Shalom